one thing we're really proud of in our organisation is that we, our organisation probably handles over 50% of medicines that are prescribed by individuals in either New Zealand or Australia. So we've got a significant market share. And our distribution facilities stayed open basically every day through the pandemic. And we took our role in all of that very seriously. The company was founded in 1922 and it was called Early Brothers Trading Company Limited. And really what it was doing at that time was uh, selling, distributing, like lights, lanterns, gas stoves, uh, and other type of electrical fittings. So quite a sort of sombre beginning. And it moved into various areas really from the 1920s, really up to the early 1990s. And in 1990, around that time, a gentleman called Mark Waller became the CEO and started on a rapid expansion plan for the group and moved into healthcare type areas of the business. And then in 2013, uh, there was a business in Australia called Symbian, doing largely the same things as what Pro Pharma and what EBOS was doing in the New Zealand market. And we combined the two businesses. Uh, that was about a $1.1 billion transaction. And really that has proved to be an absolute stellar success, that transaction, and so, we had the preeminent Australian New Zealand business that was distributing medicines into retail pharmacy, into hospitals, private public hospitals, um, providing pharmacy contract logistic services as well. And then also had an animal care business that was growing brands and also acting as a, a vet distribution business as well. So a very diversified group. The beauty of having a relationship that dates back to what we think is around 1926 allows us to really know them extremely well and what their, their needs might be into the future. They've been extremely acquisitive in the past. They've just cracked $10 billion of revenue this year. Yeah, I think the beauty of the health business is that it really aligns to our purpose, you know, helping people and communities thrive. I think what we have found in both countries is the importance of the pharmacy channel uh, as a provision of health services to the population. And also the other part of our business being animal care has also seen a rapid uptake in terms of volumes because people and sort of restricted in their activities at home decided to buy pets and are now, we're now treating pets as part of our family so providing a better quality of food and treats for them. We're also proud of how ANZ has been able to support EBOS's growth ambitions. It's important to ANZ that companies we work with are aligned on a sense of purpose. I think some of the work that EBOS is doing from an ESG focus, for example, reducing carbon emissions, um, supporting of charities, that is very aligned with our focus and our purpose and it's great to have a partnership like that. In the last couple of years, it's been great to see EBOS play a significant part in the COVID health response from distribution of pharmaceuticals, including some of the vaccines and also other medical materials. I can't see that changing going forward, that whole importance on, on logistics, supply chain um, type items. I think probably what it also does is it forces countries then to look at their sources of supply uh, and manufacturing requirements and do we then see in the future more manufacturing being done within country rather than sort of relying on overseas uh, supply chains for essential items. So it will be interesting to see how all that develops in time. Well, we'd love our company to keep going for the next uh, 100 years.